So let's start with the questions that people around the world have been waiting for you to answer. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at notorious times world class athletes tainted their reputations. I have let you down personally and professionally. Number 10, Ryan Lochte. Now to Ryan Lochte joining us for his first live interview since the Olympics and the international incident his actions set off. While Michael Phelps was getting all the attention with his mammoth medal collection, another swimmer, Ryan Lochte, was also impressing and grabbing accolades. After all, he has six Olympic golds. However, at the 2016 Olympics, Lochte's career derailed. He, along with other swimmers of the U.S. team, claimed they were robbed in Brazil, but the investigation by the police found otherwise. The thing that I told that wasn't true was having the gun pointed to my forehead and cocked. That was, that was over-exaggerated. Instead, the intoxicated swimmers stopped at a gas station and allegedly vandalized it. Security guards then demanded they pay for the damages. All the swimmers apologized for their claims, while Lochte was initially charged with falsely reporting a crime, the claim was dropped. On top of getting community service, Lochte was suspended from international competitive swimming for 10 months. I want the whole world to move forward. I don't want this. I mean, everyone's got to be sick and tired of hearing about this. I, I know I am. Number nine, Michael Vick. First, I want to apologize um, you know, for all the things that, that I've done and that I've allowed to happen. So I will redeem myself. I have to. Known for his impressive rushing, quarterback Michael Vick looked like a legend in the making. But in 2007, all that evaporated. As the police investigated another matter, they searched one of Vic's properties and discovered he was involved in dogfighting. The cops seized over 70 dogs who showed many signs of terrible abuse. Vic was sentenced to 23 months in jail. Michael Vick spent two months in Northern Neck Regional Jail and another 16 in Leavenworth Federal Prison. At the same time, the NFL suspended him and the Atlanta Falcons demanded he pay back $19.97 million from his signing bonus. After being released from the Falcons, Vic continued his football career with the Philadelphia Eagles and other franchises, earning many plaudits. While some forgave him, many fans expressed their anger. Some people are never gonna truly trust you. Some people are never gonna truly allow you to let go of your past. Number eight, Tanya Harding. 23 years later, there are still people who believe that you actually carried out that whack. Yes. In 1994, the image of figure skating was tarnished forever. A day before the U.S. Figure Skating Championship began, Nancy Kerrigan had finished practicing her routine. While backstage, a man struck her leg with a baton before escaping. Kerrigan had to withdraw from the event but later recovered. The attack was organized by Jeff Galuli, the ex-husband of Tanya Harding, Kerrigan's rival. They planned to injure Kerrigan to elevate Harding's position. Harding took a plea deal and pleaded guilty to conspiracy to hinder prosecution. Tanya Harding, you are hereby sentenced to three years probation. $100,000 fine plus $10,000 to the DA's office for special cost. Due to this, she was banned for life from figure skating. Decades after the event, Harding has spoken of the public's hatred of her, with someone even placing rats in her mailbox. You can't push me that far anymore, because I've been nothing. And I've been nothing several times. Number seven, Todd Bertuzzi. Steve, I just want to apologize for, for what happened out there. But I had no intention on hurting you. And I feel awful for what transpired. In 2004, Colorado Avalanche's Steve Moore badly injured Vancouver Canucks captain Marcus Nasland. In a later rematch, Nasland's teammate Todd Bertuzzi wanted revenge. After attempting to fight Moore but getting nowhere, Bertuzzi grabbed the center and punched him across the jaw. Todd Bertuzzi after Steve Moore. Grabs his shoulder, having a little chat with him, grabs his sweater, gives him a whack, and piling on is that Ray Nicolision, and everybody's into it. Now we get a line brawl. Oh, Steve Moore's hurt. Really bad. Moore collapsed unconscious onto the ice head first, with Bertuzzi and other players piling on top. This vicious incident caused Moore to sustain a concussion and three fractured neck vertebrae. He never played ice hockey again. I still have a bunch of things, but headaches and um, uh, lower energy than I used to, and requiring more sleep, uh, things like that. Bertuzzi was suspended by the NHL for 17 months and was charged with assault. Due to a plea deal, the winger got a year of probation, but this incident marred Bertuzzi's career. In 2014, Bertuzzi settled a lawsuit with Moore for an undisclosed sum. Today, finally, some closure as an out-of-court settlement was reached. Number six, Ray Rice. Well, obviously, you know, you look back 
and you see their similarities, I knew that our name was going to get brought up in the conversation. In 2013, Ray Rice was on top of the world after winning the Super Bowl with the Baltimore Ravens. Yet a year later, the reputation of their running back was in tatters. During the offseason, he and his partner, Janae Palmer, were charged with assault in New Jersey. CCTV footage was released days later that showed Rice and Palmer hitting each other before he punched her to the floor of an elevator, knocking her out, then dragging her away. Controversially, Rice's charges were dropped when he agreed to undertake counseling. Somewhere down the line, everybody was saying, does he deserve a second chance for football and this, this, that, and the other. I actually got my second chance How right here. While he was suspended, the Ravens terminated Rice's contract. He issued a lawsuit against them, which was later settled. However, the toxicity surrounding him made sure no other franchise signed him. Do you think you deserve a second chance? No. Mm -hmm. I didn't deserve another chance. Number five, Tiger Woods. In the days before the car accident, these two tabloids came out with cover page stories alleging Tiger Woods has been having an extramarital affair with a New York party host. With a hugely successful golfing career and a seemingly happy family life, Tiger Woods was one of the most respected and wholesome athletes around. But then in 2009, rumors of affairs began to leak out. Over the months, more and more evidence came to light, and eventually Woods released a statement admitting he had committed adultery and apologizing. I hurt my wife, my kids, my mother, and kids all around the world who admired me. Several brands he was working with then dropped the golfer, including AT&T and General Motors. Woods then released another statement that he had undergone intense therapy. However, that didn't stop his wife, Ellen Nordegren, from divorcing him. Woods returned to golf, but the divorce and further incidents of DUIs didn't help repair his broken image. I have made you question who I am and how I could have done the things I did. Number four, Pete Rose. Hey, fortunately or unfortunately, I'd rather be working in baseball, but I messed that up back in 1989. So uh, you have to do what you have to do. Part of Cincinnati's Big Red Machine, Pete Rose wrote his name in the history books as one of the best to pick up a bat. Once he hung up the cleats, he became a manager. But in 1989, with the release of the Dowd Report, Rose was accused of betting on sports, including baseball. As a result, he agreed to be placed on the ineligibility list. Sometimes you say, I'm sorry I bet on so baseball, that's, Pete that's, Rose. That's the, the most truthful thing I could ever say. Two years later, Rose was imprisoned for tax evasion for five months. He continued to deny betting on baseball games he was involved in. However, with the release of his autobiography in 2004, Rose admitted he bet on baseball games as a player and manager, breaking the hearts of those who believed his denials. It wears, it wears on me. It's rough. It's rough on your family. It really is. I don't think no one understands that. Number three, O.J. Simpson. This is very difficult for me to do this. Uh, it was very difficult for me because it's hypothetical. After 11 seasons in the NFL, O.J. Simpson was regarded as one of the best running backs of all time. But as he made his name in the acting and broadcasting world, it all went wrong. In 1994, he was accused of the murder of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown, and her friend, Ron Goldman. While Simpson was acquitted at the trial, many people didn't believe the outcome. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant or Orenthal James Simpson not guilty of the crime of murder in violation of Penal Code Section 187. And things got worse for Simpson. In 1997, during a civil trial, he was declared liable for the demise of Brown and Goldman in order to pay $33.5 million to their families. In 2008, his reputation further deteriorated when Simpson was sentenced to 33 years in jail for armed robbery. He was released in 2017. Mr. Simpson, I do vote to grant parole when eligible, and that will conclude this hearing. Number two, Oscar Pistorius. The world's most famous double amputee is coming to terms with his catastrophic fall from grace, from sporting hero to murder suspect. Nicknamed the Blade Runner, South African Paralympian Oscar Pistorius captured the attention of many with his incredible running ability. For three Paralympics in a row, he picked up several gold medals. This led to appearances on reality TV shows and many public appearances. Yet in 2013, horror struck that caused sponsors and fans to drop him. Pistorius, claiming he believed she was an intruder, took the life of his partner, Riva Steenkamp. A visibly humbled Oscar Pistorius faced the cameras again to hear the main police investigating officer say he didn't believe his explanation. In 2014, he was found guilty of her murder and was controversially sentenced to five years in jail which was later up to six years. In 2017, Pistorius' sentence was increased to 13 years and five months. In 2024, the former star athlete was released on parole. According to South African regulations, serious offenders must serve at least half of their sentence to be considered for parole. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them.
If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Lance Armstrong. Yes or no? Did you ever take banned substances to enhance your cycling performance? Yes. Not only was Lance Armstrong one of the most dominant athletes on a bike, but he's also a cancer survivor who created the Livestrong Foundation to support others with this disease. Yet there were rumors for years that Armstrong was cheating to win. In 2012, the United States Anti-Doping Agency concluded he had used performance-enhancing substances and helped others to cheat the system too. But this idea that myself or anybody forced or mandated or uh, encouraged anybody else to cross that line mm -hmm. just isn't true. This resulted in Armstrong being stripped of seven Tour de France wins and receiving a lifetime ban from all competitive sports. He denied the allegations, but that changed in 2013 when he admitted to doping to Oprah Winfrey in an interview. From that point on, his fans and admirers turned their backs on him. My world fell apart. I thought that would happen every day. This was the first time. But I was so, Mike, I was so mad and so shaken. Sure. The old Lance probably would have walked over there and gotten a fight, right? which would have been a bad idea. Which athlete earned your respect after saving someone's life? Let us know below. I was begging for, I was asking for that. I was asking for them to come after me. And it was an easy target. Wait. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.